Hey there, Bears fans. It is NFL game day once again. The Chicago Bears versus the Minnesota Vikings back in Chicago at Soldier Field because the Bears just came off a bye week. Hopefully, the players are all rushed up, ready to go, and kick off the second half of the season because. Um, Right before the bye week, they play a brutal game against the, the Detroit Lions in overtime. That game should never ever came down to overtime session. But that's just my opinion, not yours. Um, Bears are 2-4 and four in the regular season so far. On the other hand, the Vikings are 4-2. and two. So Bears are in last place. That really freaking sucks. But hopefully they get out of the, the bottom of the division. And another thing is, I'm not too sure if you know this, Bears fans. It has been 16 years today that Walter Payton passed away. Rest in peace. I'm glad he won a championship with, with the 85 Bears. And speaking of Walter Payton again, I have his jersey on today representing him. Is that pretty cool? I like Walter Payton. He's a legend, Hall of Famer. I'm glad he got a ring. Too bad he never got a damn touchdown in the Super Bowl. I know the coach kind of regrets it now. Way to go, Mike. It's way too late now, but he passed away. So I see you guys later. But before I go, go Bears. Hell yeah. The Bears. Robbie, go is getting ready. Forty-seven percent, and there's Cordero Patterson, one of the top kickoff return men. Back went to the Pro Bowl as a kickoff returner. And the Bears have allowed two kickoff returns for touchdowns already this year. That hasn't happened in nearly six decades in Chicago football history. Week eight, Bears. Boom. Let's go, Bears. Make some plays. And out of bounds. Go, Bears. Well, Chicago Bears fans. The Minnesota Vikings and the Chicago Bears all tied up at 10. That is freaking awesome. Now, in the first quarter, once again, Bears got the field goal. Robbie Gold hit a 55-yard field goal. That's awesome. He broke his own uh, longest yard so far this season. He's still perfect. Kudos. He's a hell of a kicker so far and it's very windy because when the Vikings went three and out um, I forget what his name the guy who catched the punt he fumbled but he recovered into the end zone or out of bounds I'm sorry and he's very very careless with the ball because it's very windy like I said earlier in the video and um, Bears trying to run the ball, but Vikings defense is stopping them, you know. But Adrian Peterson is like a freaking beast. Bears cannot really stop his ass. Then they put the other running back in. He's not as good as Adrian Peterson. Um, Vikings was up 10-3. to Then um, Bears made a huge play fuller. Look at that. Pick. Then a few players, sorry, a few plays later, Jay Cutler to his favorite target, Jeffrey, for a touchdown. It was a great play. Back at end zone is awesome. Of course, they have to review it right before halftime, and that's the score right now is 10 10. Hopefully, Bears go in this game and keep on rolling. Now, John Fox is like. Um, he's very good after the bye week. I think he won seven straight games after the bye week. Hopefully it continues. So I see you guys after the Bears game. But one more thing is go Bears and keep on trucking Bears. Bears got to work on our freaking defense. Special teams may have to take on run ball more. And hopefully Jay Cutler protects the ball. Hopefully he doesn't get sat or get, don't get picked off, especially a pick six. 
the my hair go bears once again and the bears yeah they are getting ready to kick off the second half Mariani back to receive the kick to Blair Wolf. Second half underway. Here it goes. And looking into the sun. Come on, Bears. Do something for crying out loud. Ooh, big hit. Holy cow. Vikings are praying for a win. If the Vikings win, I'd be pissed. And they got it. Son of a gun. Really? Uh, and the Vikings are happy. Way to go. Way to go, Bears. Blew it. Well, Bears fans, you saw the video footage. They lost. After their freaking bye week. Now the Bears lost two in a row. In their own division. Before their bye week, they lost to Detroit in overtime. Now, after the bye week, they lost the Vikings. Same freaking score, but no overtime. Bears had a chance to win this game. Really, they did. But once again, their defense just sucks ass. Okay? Fuller, you know, he's a Bears cornerback. He made a great play, but it was not enough. Color had a decent game, not one of his best performers, performers, whatever I'm trying to say, as a Bears QB. He ran one in, and that's about it, really. His completion was 22 out of 33, 222 yards, 6.4, and 1 TD. No picks, so that is good for him. Now, Teddy Bridgewater, you know, the Vikings QB, 17 out of 30, he passed too much, 187, 6.2, 1 TD, 1 pick, okay? Now, for, for the, um, rushing, Adrian Peterson, he really tore it up. The Bears defense cannot really step, stop Adrian Peterson. 20 carries for a buck, 03, 5.2. His longest was 12 yards, no TDs. He's a beast, you know. Any team in the NFL would love to have Adrian Peterson. Now, on the other hand, speaking of running back, uh, Matt Fute, he did a pretty decent job. 10 carries for 41 yards, 4.1 average. His longest yard was 14. He got taken out because the Vikings uh, messed him up pretty bad. I think he just got a bruised knee. Hopefully he's not out for the year. Probably will find out the latest. Probably Monday or Tuesday. I don't know. So that really sucks. So without the key running back, Jay Cutler had to keep throwing it. Now, you know who had a big game for the Bears? Jeffrey. 10 receptions for 116 yards. 11.6 his longest yard was 28, 1 TD. Whoever have him on the fantasy football, I bet you are freaking happy. If you're not a Bears fan, this guy is a great player. Hopefully the Bears don't let him go. Give him the damn money. Now Bennett, 3 receptions, 32 yards, 10.7, 20 yards. Why the hell the Bears, let me rephrase it, why the hell color did not pass it to Bennett? Uh, look like um, Jeffrey got all the uh, catches. You know, it reminds me of last year. Jay Color give all the balls to um, Brad Marshall. Why can Jay Color spread the offense? You know, if your top receiver, sorry, if your top running back is out for the rest of the game, give it to your other receivers besides um, Jeffrey. Now they tried it, they did try to run the damn ball, um, um, what's his name, J Jeremy Lanford, he from Michigan State, 12 attempts, 49, 46 yards, 3.8, 9 carries, nothing. So, I don't know what to tell you, 
I think what sometime in the third quarter. Um, let me see here. Let's see here. Okay. Um, I think it was the third quarter. I'm looking. Hold on. I'm cheating. Oh, by the way, Robbie Gold uh, misses very first field goal, so he's not perfect anymore. So that really sucks. So I thought he's gonna get redemption late in the fourth quarter. They they never got the uh, opportunity. And that really sucks. Um, what was it? Was it? Um, I know they. Oh, here it is. A 60, it was a first quarter, 65 yard punt return. And of course, um, uh, Minnesota got the touchdown. That's pathetic. Our special teams are just garbage. Wow, they give up a lot this year, you know? I think that's the first time in this season the Bears did it in the first quarter. Usually it's in the second half, back to back, but pathetic. It was a close game, but I'm very upset. Vikings are pretty good this year, five and two, and I don't know. She, she just like rips me apart, you know. I don't want to tell you. Uh, Bears are two and five, and Vikings are five and two. Now the next game for the Chicago Bears will be next Monday night, um, in San Ho in San Jose. Sorry, in in the um, um, at the Chargers. Okay, I screwed up. Okay. Bears are two and five, and the Chargers two and six. So both teams are not that good this year. Um, there's rumors that the Chargers might move to LA next season, or it could be the Rams. I don't know. We'll find out what's gonna happen. Bears really need this win. There's no way in hell they're gonna win this. Um, they're not gonna uh, win, be in the playoffs because they're they're rebuilding. Now listen to the Bears fans. Teddy Bridgewater. Yeah, Teddy Bridgewater on the Vikings' first win at Soldier Field since 07. Wow, thanks, a huge milestone. Wow, that is pathetic. But that's about it, really. It came down to the, a field goal crunch time. Robbie Gold never got his redemption. He missed a, uh, you know, he missed a easy, not easy field goal. Maybe for him it was easy, but. I don't know, probably the coach is not too happy, and probably he says, why in the hell did I coach this team? It's a total mess. But I'll go more detail on the Bears podcast episode, I think on number 8. I think so, because last week they're off. So hopefully everyone enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Go Bears next Monday night in the America. Hopefully Matt Fute is not out for the air, but if he's out for the air, or I, I will give you a, a latest update in my podcast, okay? So look out for that very, very shortly. Bye, Bears fans.